Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about my marriage visa extension application and why it failed. Today's video is going to explain as to the reasons why my application failed. Um, this is my second year for applying for, for my marriage visa and I was 90% sure that when I went to get my visa I was going to pass because I had all the information from last year. Last year I had to go to immigration six times so I was armed with all the paperwork that they required last year and I thought this year it should be like a formality because I've already got all the paperwork that they required last year. But if you watch this video you'll see the reasons why it failed and hopefully it'll help you so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. So okay here we go. Um, I virtually fell at the first hurdle really. I had all the paperwork and we are on our way to immigration so we called up the bank to get my 12 months bank statements to show that payments had been made into my um, Bangkok bank. I used the over 40,000 baht per month method as opposed to having 400,000 baht in the bank. So showing a, a bank statement for a year shows that every month money comes into my account. So straight away, when, when I looked at the statements, one of the payments, July last year, 12 months ago, the first payment made to show that I was getting a payment every month, it says smart transfer. Now the immigration don't want to see smart transfer on the, on the paperwork, they want to see um, foreign transfer, which is what they're looking for. So I knew then, straight away that I wasn't going to get my visa today but we still went to immigration so we could find out if there's any other paperwork that they required. Again like I said I'll put a link up on the video I went immigration six times last year. If you watch that video you'll see the reason why they kept asking for different bits of information all the time. So okay I went to immigration so immigration went through the bank statements and straight away picked up the fact that there was a payment made to Cassicorn Bank and then Cassicorn Bank went to Bangkok Bank. Now to immigration that looks like an interbank transfer, so a transfer made from one bank in Thailand to another bank in Thailand and they wanted proof that actually the money came from England in the Cassicorn Bank. So she asked me to go to the Cassicorn Bank and get a letter from them to say that they'd received the money and they'd pass it on to the Bangkok Bank. Now we, we did that, we, after we'd been to immigration, we went to Cassicorn Bank and they were going to charge me 500 baht to supply this piece of information that the fact that they'd received the money from TransferWise. Um, I wasn't happy at paying 500 baht so I, I declined their letter for 500 baht and I said no, I'll, I'll provide the information some other way. So I, I, I printed 12 months paper from TransferWise to prove that every month money came in through TransferWise normally to my Bangkok bank but on that one occasion it went to Cassicorn Bank and and then it was transferred from Cassicorn Bank to Bangkok Bank. So if you've got the paperwork from TransferWise to show that it came into Thailand from abroad then that's no problem whatsoever. So the other things that I failed on paperwork wise is like last year I took photocopies of everything that we required last year and unfortunately because I took photocopies that included photocopied signatures. Now when I presented all the paperwork to them this year they declined the photocopied paperwork because they said we don't want any photocopy signatures we need genuine signatures. So all the paperwork that we fill out, such as your TM7 and your paperwork to say that you understand the penalties if you overstay in this country, all the photographs that we had of me and the wife inside the house, outside the house, next to the address of the house, all photocopies with a photocopied signature as well. She wanted all of them redoing so it's original signatures for everything. So don't try to cheat the system and do one original then one photocopy they want original signatures for everything on both copies so again okay I understand that and I'll go do all original copies and then last year she asked for a, a, the book the house book of the house that we rent from the landlady 
So the landlady provided us with a house book of where she lives in Bangkok, her ID card, and then she gives a photocopy of the house book that we rent from her with her name on it. Uh, and this year the, the immigration wanted more than that. They wanted the original Chanut, or a copy of the original Chanut of when it, she actually bought the house a number of years ago. Uh, now I've looked in all the paperwork and all the information requested and required from information from immigration and that's never ever been mentioned. That's just something else that came up with this year and so okay we rang the landlady up and she sent us it by post and signed it and so we, now we had all the information that the immigration requested. So it took about a week to gather all the extra information. We went to immigration again with all the new paperwork, all the original signatures, and we sat in the office with the lady for about 30 minutes. She went through all the paperwork with a fine tooth comb and went through absolutely everything and said, yep, yeah, okay, that's fine, good. I'm happy with the paperwork that you've supplied this year. So me and the wife looked at each other, big smile on our faces, thinking, oh, that's it, only two visits now to immigration this year, which was good. So we left the immigration centre and we went for a meal and then driving home. And some two hours later, after we'd been to immigration, my wife got a phone call from the immigration department saying she needs some more information. We haven't given enough information. And my wife said, we sat in the office with you for 30 minutes and you said everything was okay. And she said, I need a letter from the bank to say that you collected the bank statements from the bank and also I need an update of your bank book. Um, my wife said, we've given you two copies of the information to say that we've got the bank statements. It's in the bundles of paper. That we, She said, no, I can't find them. I can't see them. I want one today, dated today. And also I need your update of your bank book. So we go back to the bank, we get the information required, we go back to immigration, we give her the information, she goes through all the paperwork again and says, yep, yeah, okay, fine, thank you very much. So off we go and we get as far as the car in the car park and we get another phone call from the immigration. You need to come back to the office now. She says, I need to ask you some more questions before you go away. So he goes back to the immigration, goes sees, sees the immigration lady, and she's asking why my bank book doesn't show every transaction for the past year. I state that I only got my bank book updated, and I only get it updated when I come and see you at the immigration. That's why we provide you with a bank statement, so you can see every single transaction for the past year. She said, I need to see all the transactions in your bank book also. So she said, I suggest next year you bring the bank book back with every transaction that you make also with the bank book. So you need to go and get your bank book updated more often than you have done this year. So, okay, I said, I'll do that next year. I'll go and get my bank book updated every month if that's what you require. And she said, yeah, that's what I want to see next year. A bank statements for the whole year and your bank book updated with all the transactions in. It's the same as your statements okay i said i shall do that next year so my wife asked anything else this is the third time we've visited you today so she said do you want anything else before we go home she said no that's it that's fine so after that we left three days later we had the visit by the immigration police who came to the house filled out the paperwork they were here 15 minutes looked at everything photographs of us and the witness outside the house inside the house and the immigration officer and after that away he went so now we're under consideration and hopefully in a, a month's time we'll have our marriage visa extension so the point of this video is take plenty of time go at least three or four weeks before you before your extension is due so then if they ask for any more information you're not pressured against the time to provide the information don't argue with, with what they request. If whatever they require, just go and get it. It's worth, worth going and getting it rather than arguing with them over the information that they require. Four visits this year compared to six visits last year. And next year when it's come to renewal, I'll go again four weeks before 
ask them what information is required this year and go and do the same. So I hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Please leave your comments below. And as I say, don't make the same mistakes that I did. Go well prepared and original documentation for everything. So from Les, still living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.